Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's so beautiful to have you come back. Okay, so thank you so much for always clicking. It is your favorite girl, Princess Shola Olale. And today we are going to be discussing on a very important topic. A lot of people have been asking me questions. Princess, it's almost Christmas. What are we going to be doing? It's Christmas period. This is the time to sell food food products is Christmas what can I sell I don't have money what kind of agri business can I deal on what kind of business can I start with that money and of course what kind of agri business can I start with little cash so today I decided to answer the call and do this short video so it's going to be a very quick one so let's dive into it into it but please do not forget to subscribe and also type on the bell icon to be the first to receive notification once I post any video okay so thank you so much guys let's dive into it yes welcome back so the first thing on my list the first business you can do with tax money this Christmas period and make a huge amount of money is grocery shopping like errand business like you're helping people to run errand to go shop for grocery a lot of people do not like to go to the market a whole lot of persons in fact I don't like to go to the market but what's money is involved ah god I'm going to go to that market so a lot of people do not like the stress involved in markets and all of it so people a lot of people have dived into this business before now, but you can start it up this month and make a huge amount of money. You, you do an e-flyer telling people this is what you do. You run errands, grocery errands. So these people pay you. They send money for their shopping. And of course, they pay you for your services. I don't know if you get. So you help them shop. And of course, they pay you for the service that you've rendered. So let's say your service to go to uh, my 12 market to help someone buy something. Your, uh, the person had to pay 5000 for service. That includes your transportation and of course your stress of going to the market for the person. So this is a then the person sends money, send the list of what they need. So you help them go shopping in the market, whether we go market or whether my 12, whether are really a market, whatever thing they want to buy this Christmas, be it uh, uh, it start from food, grocery shopping, meat shopping. You can just make a list and tell them this is how much this is what. Some people can even go make a list of different different amount of, of things and say this is how much it costs. So this person can click and send the money to you. Some persons can also say, okay, send me your list. And they send their list and they do their calculation themselves and send over to you for you to help them shop. So this is a very easy business. Like you're not investing any amount of money. You're not you're not you're not investing. What you're just doing is to help this person run an errand. Okay, so you help them run the errand while they pay you money for going, you know, for going for the errand. Okay, so it is a very easy business to do. So hope you understand that. So let's go to the next point. So the next point, the next point that is very, very lucrative this Christmas period, and you do not need a cobalt to start is contract cooking. Like you 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 try making social media ads, running social media ads, uh, print, uh, e flyers on social media. Start talking about the business. Tell people you cook. Show them different delicacies and all. This is if you can cook very well. Okay, so you tell them you can cook. You can do this. You can also partner with someone that cooks. If you're not really a good cook, you know you can partner with someone that cooks and. You know, both of you can do the business together. So you get this contract and you call the person, okay, let's go and cook. Oh, this is how much I charge them. And this is how much I'm giving you for the cooking. So both of you go run the errands and, or go cook the food. Okay, so it's very simple. You tell people, you cook food. So they pay you for the contract. They pay you for the cooking contract. Then uh, they... they they can also say, okay, we are going to shop our food stuff while you do the cooking. Why some will say, okay, how much is everything, both the shopping, both the food stuff and the cooking? How much are you charging us? So you tell them your service charge and tell them how much a bag of rice is worth, meat and all of it. So you calculate everything. Also, you can also calculate per plate. You can also say, okay, I'm going to cook per plate of food. So many catering businesses, this is how they started, okay? Some of them didn't invest a dime. So these people pay you money, use it to go and shop for the food stuff. So 
after cooking, they can actually pay you the remaining amount of money that is left. I don't know if you get like some of them can say, okay, we'll pay 70% upfront. Then after the whole contract, we can give you the remaining 30%. So depending on the agreement, why some people collect a hundred percent even before they start the contract. So this is it. It's very simple to do. It's an agri business that you can do now and <laughs> make a lot of money. There are people that they are going for Christmas, especially my Igbo brothers and sisters. Like they're going for Christmas, they need you know, they need someone that can prepare food sharp sharp without stress like you don't need to stress them though this is one agree business and you know you can tap into right now make a whole lot of money this christmas period even even in lagos here all one base and all like people want to go party and some people are already arranging gathering for family and friends and they're looking for somebody like you that know how to cook to come help them cook food that they're going to eat and once your food is nice, you're going to, of course, get recommendations from them, you know, get referrals, you know, you get them to, to write, um, to write like a feedback and use it to, you know, advertise, use the pictures that you got and the videos you got while you cooked, while you were cooking and the cooked food you already prepared, use it to run another advert and start getting more customers. Before you know it, boom, business, have a bit of a <laughs> before you know it, business has started. So this is one other business you can do without even investing any money so nobody should tell you that you cannot make money this christmas there's so many so many businesses out there you can actually do you know without investing any money do you get so let's go to my third point the third point is uh, drop shipping like you're helping people in the market to drop ship yes there's drop shipping for clothes there's drop shipping for bags you can also help people to drop ship like in Igbo land, we call it I also like, uh, yes, we call it, we call it like uh, uh, Osahia, yes, we call it Osahia in Igbo. So these people they go into the market and they behave as if that the owner of the shops and all of this. So you can go to somebody's shop and say, I, I can help you sell these bags of rice. The person is selling rice in wholesale, and the person tells you a bag of rice is 23,000. So you can say, Okay. Since a bag of rice is 23,000, I add my own money and help you make sales. So you can add 500, like 20, that's 23,500 a bag, or you can put 1,000, 24,000 a bag and start selling, start marketing it and start getting contracts. You can stay in the person's shop, run video, do some videos, take pictures and say, our rice have landed though. It's not even your rice, you get? So our rice has landed though. We are already here. Come, come buy. A bag of rice is 24,000. Stone free rice, stone free rice. Come and buy, yo. You know? <laughs> you just start, start making some funny, funny, funny. Stone free rice, oh, stone free rice. Don't buy, come and buy, your Rice is ready, yo. Oh, yeah, oh, come and buy. You know, people start, you start showing them pictures of the rice on social media. Started. So people will start running to you and say, okay, okay, I want five bags, so I want two bags. So you start, you use storytelling to sell your market. Like you tell them stories about stone free rice. You tell them stories about Nigerian rice, about the kind of quality of rice you have. You tell them the other qualities also they can get from the market and people will tell them that it's stone free. Meanwhile, it's not stone free. Like you show them pictures, you show them, you give them reason why they should buy your rice because there are a lot of people selling rice in the market today. Be it grand. You can also another. You can also start. You know, showing them. You know, take pictures from different places. Come from the internet. Show them different rice that people say that stone free. Meanwhile, they are actually no stone free rice. So you start making this. You can also be rice. Can be any other product. But I'm just using rice as an example. So you're drop shipping this business without any money. So people send the money. They, you help them buy. You say you you pay the person you're drop shipping for. You send the bag of rice. They pay for delivery. You send it to them but you have made your 1000 per bag so let's say you sold like 10 bags in a day my sister my brother you have made like 10 good 10 good money right go and price that moment <laughs> so that is it so and you can actually do which is going to be the, my last point is actually meat sharing <laughs> yes 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 meat sharing you go to a butcher shop where where they sell meat people that you know like we are the butcher meat. <laughs> so you go there and, you know, take pictures of cow and goat. You ask those people, how much is a cow? They tell you, they tell you, uh, let's say 70,000. I don't know, but they tell you 70,000. So you buy this meat for 70,000 naira. 
you are not buying it. You you post it on social media and say, okay, you divide into three or into five or into ten and say ten people can actually share this cow. Okay, so each person you share it into two, you ask you add your own money. Let's say you add like ten thousand to sell that cow, seventy thousand. Meanwhile, it's, that means it's eighty thousand. So your profit actually ten thousand. So you now say, okay. In this meter is eighty thousand. I'm sharing for eight people. I'm sharing for five people. I'm sharing for ten people. So each of you have so so amount of money. To, uh, you allocate the money to them and say you pay twenty thousand. So the last business on my list is meat sharing. Yes, meat sharing. So this has to do with you going to the market. You know to. Uh, let's say like a butcher shop. You go to them and ask them how much is this cow like they sell cows uh, goats rams whatever thing you want you tell them how much you ask them how much is a cow uh, a big cow or a small cow whatever it is so you take pictures of the cow they tell you let's say they say seventy thousand you add like ten thousand that's eighty thousand or you can add twenty thousand i don't know but it depends on you you know depend on the size of the cow you're buying you can actually get cheap and you add your own money inside it okay so it depends on you so let's say they sell for seventy thousand and you add eighty thousand you take pictures post on social media and say we're sharing this cow next week or we're sharing it so so day and you say okay people can actually come you say you are sharing to for like five people you're sharing for like five people and you share this money. Let's say it's 100,000. Okay, you added finally. Okay, so you're sharing it for like five people. You divide the 100K, like 20K, and you show them, you tell them each person gets a portion, okay, of the cow. So you pay 20,000, you pay 20,000, depending on how you want to share it. So they bring their money, use from that money, 70,000, pay for the cow that you bought, okay? Then you have they you pay for them to kill the cow you share the car amongst them that is it you have made your own money let's say it's twenty thousand that you made at last you've made your own money they pay money for their delivery so you're not the one sending to them you're not the one paying the delivery fee so what you just do is to send uh the what you just do is to send it to them okay so you have made your money so this is another way for you to make money this christmas people are looking for where to buy affordable meat if your meat is cheap you will get in fact you will make money if your meat is cheap goat meat or cow meat or whatever thing chicken or you can also go to someone that rails chicken and you tell the person say okay how much is a chicken they tell you that a chicken is three thousand you take picture do video of the chicken we we'll have chicken or chicken around you go you know <laughs> you carry your bucket for your head Chicken around the go, yeah. You push come and buy chicken. Like you not tell them the chicken, the person is selling for three thousand to you. You say chicken is four thousand. You tell them how many kg the chicken is, okay? And people start sending in their orders. You can say we're selling. Uh, 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 yeah, that is going to be a discount for someone that is buying up to ten. Okay, if you're buying up to ten, I'm going to do a discount for you. So when the person buy up to ten, you can remove like five five hundred or. 1,000 depending so this is a way for you to market your chicken like for you to make your own money without you know you Killing yourself in the house. Okay, this with this you can buy yourself a Christmas cloth a Christmas shoe a new hair even in a woman hair blend <laughs> Okay, you can also buy anything for your child you can take yourself on shopping you can take yourself to go and watch cinema this Christmas you can you go and eat the 13 out there okay and kill your own chicken too when you're selling this also make sure you buy yours okay <laughs> so with this you cannot say you have not made money this christmas you cannot make money this christmas i've shown you the ways you can make money this christmas and i'm sure you have learned a lot thank you thank you for watching guys so now is the time for you to do the need for help me give me a thumbs up on this video and of course kindly subscribe if you have not subscribed subscribe subscribe what that thing it is free of charge just tap on it and subscribe now now receive it receive it tap on it right now <laughs> So tap on the subscribe button and please do not forget to click on the bell icon to be the first to receive any video that I upload, okay? Thank you guys for watching. I love you and I love you. So more money in your account this Christmas. Now you have learned the, the ropes, please kindly put it into action and let's make money. So I want to see your comments. If you like this video, kindly comment in the section, on the comment section, okay? Thank you guys.